Hey everybody, Shinji June here, and <clears throat> I am attempting to sort of make my first Let's Play video, even though I am not really doing anything in my game at the moment. Um, I just wanted to put up something different on my server. You for all probably like, where are your moto vlogs? And I'm just like, I don't have any ideas to talk about. And actually, I sort of wanted to make a moto vlog about Minecraft, but I don't know. wasn't sure how that would really work. So, anyway, um, this is Minecraft, and I'm playing a game within Minecraft um, called Skyblock. And hold on, let's help somebody. Uh, mm -hmm. Alright, so, um, yeah, so Skyblock, anyway, that's where it was, Skyblock. So Skywalk is, Skyblock is a game within Minecraft where you start on a tiny little island with a few blocks of grass, a tree, and a chest with a few items in it, and the point is to see how long you can survive. I think I've survived long enough. Now to those of you who play Minecraft already, this is probably not at all impressive to you. My island is not pretty, and actually I have not been playing Minecraft for that long, so... Yeah, my island is not the best. I don't have a lot of automated farms or anything. So, uh, bear with me, but I just want to give you guys a tour. So, we'll start here with my animal pen. Uh, I have a horse that one of my friends on the server I play on gave me. And in the back, let's see if we can get in. No, you're not escaping, stupid sheep. Ha, or cow. Yes, ha. Alright, this is Jeb. Jeb, the color changing sheep. And over here is a regular sheep. My cow, which wanted to escape, and let us get out of here so I don't have to let him out. Alright, so I'm not farming those animals, they're just pets. <laughs> and that's that. Over here is my cocoa bean farm, and if you have never played this game before, I'll show you. You cut them down and you get cocoa beans. Yay, cocoa beans. Over here are my vertical pumpkin and watermelon farms. Um, the watermelon farm is highly efficient. Actually, I can't get rid of watermelons fast enough, but actually there's some room in there. It's unusual. And pumpkins. And it goes up and up and up and up and up, and this is not the most efficient automated farming design, but it saves space, and it works. And then I have down here a cactus farm, and this is not the best design either, but it also works. I get quite a bunch of cactus out of it. And <clears throat> yeah, what happens here is cactus cannot touch another block, so when the cactus grows to two blocks height, it pops off, goes into the water, and gets put into the chest. Uh, that's a little pond there that was a mistake. <laughs> Failed experiment. We won't talk about that. Um, wheat farm. Two level wheat farm. Don't mind the missing blocks. They are largely stolen by endermen. And sometimes when you farm something and the ground's not wet, it turns back into regular dirt. And I'm really lazy. I don't like to go back and turn the land back into farmland until I've got like a bunch of empty blocks. Uh, potatoes and sugar cane and <coughs> whole melons which uh, with a silk touch pick you can mine them as whole melons so that's why I'm still growing melons even though I have automated melon farm and over here is cactus or cactus what am I talking about? It's really late. I shouldn't be doing this now. Uh, carrots. And down here is my um, quote-unquote bedroom, which looks like crap right now. I just moved my enchantment table out of it, so it's all messed up, and I haven't figured out what I'm really going to do with that room yet. 
uh, a relaxation area which is off my shop which I'll show you later and we'll go up a level now actually I'll go in here to go up a level this is this was my first storage area and I keep different stuff eggs more eggs food miscellaneous uh, grass and sand and obsidian redstone the good expensive stuff steak all right and up here um, some more storage out here we're stuck there we go out here is where I grow trees and I'm not growing too many trees right now oak jungle I have to plant more that's an AFK pool away from keyboard and this is a uh, Shinji Jun's sheep machine of death there's a spawner up there. The sheep come down. They drown. I'll spare you that. And in the hoppers go down into the chest and it collects the wool. So, yes, cruel and unusual sheep punishment, but they are virtual sheep, so that's that. Um, and up here is my little gold farm with my escaping zombie pigmen. But, um, essentially, this is also not the best design, but it works. The pigmen come in here, they fall down there, they die. Like that guy that just took a dive off. And, oh, are you going to come over? Yes, you know you want to walk off that edge for the people watching the video. Down you go. Alright. And when you go down... Eh too far come up in here and they get collected into chests and it, they uh the zombie pigmen drop gold nuggets and chickens also come through the nether portals which are what the purple things were and they collect eggs so that's the good part um i guess i'll take you right into my shop and I sell a bunch of stuff in my shop to other people on the server. It's pretty much the only way for you to get rarer stuff. And I also get rid of a bunch of basic stuff constantly like cobblestone. I sell a couple of chests full of that every day. I have a bookshop for enchanted books. And the valuable shop. I call it the precious and I have wool and a bunch of different color inks that you can buy to dye them redstone I have a nether portal so you can go to the nether and look what came out of my nether portal ah stop go away all right you can go to the nether in there um if you don't play this game I'll show you that some other time though I promise I will not overload my uh, channel with let's play videos I'm gonna try and get back on the vlogging soon um, moto vlogging and this is a random item dispenser so somebody that comes to my shop can get a free item here I'll put some gold nuggets in there but you step on the plate and it shoots something out at you all right and I have a selling room in my shop where people can sell stuff to me but it's mostly full right now and then there's my love garden and this was based on another youtuber who makes let's play video go let's play videos uh, stampy long head or stampy long nose goes by mr. stampy cat and my kid loves to watch mr. stampy cat videos so <coughs> inspired by him to make my own love garden and I put up a wall with the names of the people who have donated stuff to me so that's uh, what that's for and it's pretty much my island I have a couple things underneath I'm not going to bother with because they're boring but um it's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this little tour maybe you'll figure out where I play and come play with me if you can find me and that's about all for this time I will try and get another bike video up for you guys really soon and 
I will see you all later.